This time on ADV for the King, we've already gone from high peaks to low plains and faced plenty oh of challenges goodness. on the way. Today one. we must ride to Chalice and ultimately the Custer Motorway, which showcases the Custer Ghost Town. Well guys, good morning. Got really cold last night. There was frost all over the tent and um, we looked at Jesse's thermometer around two or three in the morning and it was uh, below freezing. I was, uh, I was comfortable, so time to get up and at him. Well guys, I was able to get the drone up early but wasn't able to get myself up early, so it's now about 10 o'clock in the morning. We might be getting out of the campsite pretty late today, but we don't have quite as far to go, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, gotta get the bear back. Bear bags. Jesse says I have to wash my face in the creek. Cause it's the rule. It's the rule. It's written somewhere. So I'm gonna have to wash my face in the creek. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, take your water off. Woo! <laughs> that is cold. <laughs> it is chilly water. Man. <laughs> coffee right from the creek. A little stronger than yesterday. That's not bad though. We got Chef Jesse Dernman over here. Mmm, <laughs> pancake. All right guys, we're getting uh, ready to pack up here. We're drinking the last of our coffee and uh, next stop is, uh, is Chalice. Although we're a little bit sad to leave this beautiful campsite. Wish we brought our fishing poles. We'll have to remember that next time. We're just gonna get packed up and hit the road, so. My eye center there. Ooh. Oh, roughed my mirror up like crazy there. Ah, oh, the wind feels good in my face. We got a very late start today. It's actually almost three o'clock, which is not ideal. Probably gonna be riding late tonight. There's a bunch of guys coming down the line. Oh, they're on BMWs. Shortly after leaving the National Forest, the gravel turned to pavement, and we started our journey to Chalice. In total, the trip would only take us a couple of hours with a little bit of nerve-wracking highway riding towards the end. However, we safely made it to Chalice, and had one of the best burgers we've ever had at a place called The Inn. After eating our fill and vowing yep. to eat here every time one. we came to Chalice, we began our route down the Custer Motorway. Custer Motorway, pretty cool. I've actually always wanted to ride this road and I've never gotten the chance, so I'm excited about it. Should be interesting. Fire must have tore through this area. This is a really, really beautiful ride.
This is the Custer Cemetery. Colonel H. Sprague, age 55 or 60, over drunk. Schultz, infant child of Michael and Minnie Schultz. Sad. John Lang, born 1849. Jan died January 19, 1881. Snow slide. Couldn't be too ceremonious about it. I mean, somebody yeah. died on the job. They just put a simple gravestone down and got back to work. You know, it was just a common occurrence. Yeah. There was no calling family in from hundreds of miles away. The Fork residents found new comforts and many hardships mm -hmm. due to their remote location. Suicides, work-related accidents, and disease combined with lack of medical services created a difficult lifestyle. Boy, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Man, that was a hard way to live. Evidence of this isolation is the tragic story of young Julian Riley Thompson. I think that's the one right yeah. over there. At the age of three months, Julian began to show stress at feeding time, which led to convulsions. Relief came when his mother immersed him in warm water. As a result, a kettle of hot water was always on hand. Even just that would be hard to do up in here in these conditions. I yeah. mean, just that accommodation, you know? On one occasion, the child seizure rushed the mother, rushed the mother to, to the kettle only to find it empty. A visiting friend mistakenly used the water to rinse the dishes. Panicked, the mother ran into the nearby McGowan saloon. Finding the hot water she searched for, she returned to her child only to find it too late. Seven-month-old Julian Riley Thompson was buried April 18, 1881. Travel to the main cemetery at Bonanza was difficult or impossible. People were buried at the Custer Cemetery. Is that the one? That must be the one we're at here. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. I just the way people lived in antiquity is is super interesting. It is. It, it is interesting. There's millions of people like lived and died in situations like that. Here we are enjoying this. Well guys, we're gonna pass by Guster City here and we're gonna take a look at it in the morning. Tonight it's uh, it's getting late. We gotta get to our campsite and get set up. Well guys, we uh, set up our tents and now we're making some tea. He's making some pancakes for himself and I'm, uh, I'm just gonna have some snacks and granola bars. It's about 11 o'clock right now. We're hoping to get up early, so we're gonna go to bed here soon. Hopefully. We've been having a night of singing songs and talking about music, which has been pretty fun. Once again, guys, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please consider leaving a subscribe or a like or a comment or something like that. This is the longest trip that I have ever done. It's three total nights, four total days. It's also the longest one I've done with someone else on the thing, namely Jesse. So this is his first moto camping trip. I think he had a blast. It was a lot of fun. You get a chance to do something like this, it's a lot of work and a lot of preparation, but it is rewarding. Cross some things off the bucket list. Probably won't do them again. Like camping on the top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere sounds fun. And it really was, but boy, we felt really depressed up there and it was such a relief to get out in the wind and ride again. Oh, it was bleak. Wanted to leave. Um, the view was amazing. We were both, I think, excited about the, you know, the initial victory of completing that climb and excited to be out. But boy, the that campsite sure wore on us, wore on me. There wasn't hardly a flat spot anywhere. It was, it was really difficult to do anything, just uh, even as far as setting up gear and whatnot. Just the atmosphere and the ambience. There was no, there was no ambience. It was no, no birds. No birds, no, water no it just felt quite bleak the view was worth it not a place to spend any extended period of time i don't think it was almost as if you were on a mountain on the middle of the moon incredibly breathtaking to behold but dead silent only the slight howl of wind and by the end of it we were just we were almost ready to go home i was glad when we left i'm glad to be out on the road again rather yeah how's that tea mm, good Good, good, good. And once we got into the Sawtooth National Forest and beyond, it was just an amazing, incredible journey and we had a blast. So much beauty we couldn't even really 
comprehend it while we're out there. Well, guys, I guess he's over there washing some dishes and I'm just getting ready for bed. All right, guys, I'm hitting the hay. Uh, sorry, there wasn't a whole lot of B-roll tonight at the campsite. I was really tired and it was dark. I didn't feel like doing much, but I do got a star lapse going, so enjoy that. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 8 and 9. Oh, well, good morning, guys. Seven o'clock, time to get up and at him. Alright guys, well we've had our coffee, we're going to go ahead and get packed up and uh, head to Custer Ghost Town. The Custer Motorway Adventure Road, pioneered as a trail to provide a supply route from Chalice to the mining camps and towns in the Yankee Fork Mining District. It later served for 10 years as the only freight wagon and stage access area after the toll road was completed in 1979. The construction and realignment efforts by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1933 opened the road to motorized traffic. Remnants of rich history way along this adventure road take time to stop and reflect upon the stories of the hardy souls who lived, worked, and died in this rugged landscape. They are waiting to be discovered. We ask that you show respect and think not only of those who came before you, but of those who will follow. Please don't disturb the artifacts, wildlife, or any structures you encounter along the way. River water was unusable due to the mill and mines, so citizens got their water from wells and springs. Mining in the Yankee Fork drainage was largely a man's world until more women and children arrived. Up here in the mountains, locals participated in social activities like town plays, picnics, and dances, which were often held at the Miners' Union Hall in Custer. Men would gather at saloons to spend some of their $3 a day wages on drinking and gambling. Houses of the repute were home to women of the night, but while these workers did live difficult lives, they volunteered to care for sick and injured community members. Three schools were built in the area and operated at different times, with the first at Jordan Creek, and the second was located between Bonanza and Custer at Puzzler Gulch. Well guys, we're just going to head home from here, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. God bless. If you guys are interested in more moto camping adventures, make sure to check out this video next.